Hello everyone, we have brought you another video as a part of the ongoing I series. In today's video, we are going to learn how to start writing essays. I think many good writers who are quite expressive, even they sometimes find it difficult to begin their writing. But no need to worry, as we are going to offer you a very effective solution that will help you start strong. So let's start. few videos that in academic IELTS, essay writing is the second writing task that goes on for 40 minutes and the objective is to write on a given topic, fulfilling all demands of the question. Now it's time to focus on how to structure your essays well. Organization and linking of ideas is an important aspect of writing. It should be easy for the reader to follow what you have conveyed. Therefore, following the right format is quite crucial. In IELTS essays, some question types may require four paragraphs paragraphs to answer, whereas some might need 5. The number of paragraphs entirely depends on the essay question type. Here we have a rough essay layout for you, starting with an introduction, of course, followed by two body paragraphs, can be three depending on the question type and ending with a conclusion or something. Since we are going to learn how to start our essays, we will focus on the introductory paragraph today. The introduction comprises of three parts essentially. The first part is the paraphrased statement. We covered the topic paraphrasing in the previous video. Do watch it if you haven't yet. Nevertheless, we will take a look at its definition when we use it in this lesson too. Then comes the question reference. And finally, the paragraph ends with a thesis statement. It's okay if these terms are new to you and you don't get any of them. Let's understand what exactly we need to do. Here is a sample essay question. Some people believe that video games turn children violent. Do you agree or disagree? Let's write an introduction to this question. So here is what we will do first. We need to begin with a paraphrase statement. So paraphrasing is writing a given statement using different words or phrases in a new way, but making sure that its meaning remains intact. So for the first statement of the introduction, we need to paraphrase the topic sentence. The topic sentence reads, some people believe that video games turn children violent. Let's try writing this statement in some other way. You can pause the video here if you want to try it yourself first. Alright, so we have our paraphrase statement ready now. It goes, a set of individuals think that youngsters become aggressive by playing video games. There are countless other ways to paraphrase the same sentence. Maybe you could use perceive or claim in place of belief, a few individuals in place of some people. Similarly, the youth or young ones could replace children and so on. You could even make changes in the sentence structure by converting the active into a passive voice. It doesn't matter what way you opt to rephrase, but ensure that the meaning doesn't change or you do not unknowingly leave out any important piece of information. Which is the question reference. Now, the question reference will be determined by the task given in the question. Here, for example, the question is asking whether we agree or disagree. So our task is to state what we believe or what side are we on, agree or disagree, and build up on that information in the next paragraphs. So always refer to the demand of the question, or we can call it the task of the question. Now, here for instance, we have framed the sentence, I disagree with the notion. Some of you might agree with the idea in the question and it is totally fine. Remember, it is up to you which side of the fence you are on. Just write your opinion here clearly. Having said that, an important note. We need to understand that certain essay question types will not have question references in the first paragraph since they follow a slightly different layout. You will be learning about those exceptions in the upcoming videos. After the question reference, we have the final statement to add, which is the thesis statement. The thesis statement gives an overview of what we are going to or what we have written further. Just like in presentations, the speaker gives an outline of the presentation before getting into the details of the agenda. So in this case, we are going to explain our position or opinion in the next paragraphs. And that is what we need to mention here. Here is a sample thesis statement for you. My position has been elaborated in the following paragraphs. Or we could also write, my opinion or perception or premise has been explained or elucidated further. Never forget, there are multiple ways to express these three parts of the introduction. First, paraphrase statement. Second, question reference. And third, the thesis statement. If you ardently follow the structure, you end up writing a lucid and coherent intro without 
difficulties. At the same time, giving you decent points in the parameters, task response, coherence, and cohesion. On a different note, make sure your intro isn't too wordy. Try writing it within 25 to 40 words. Here are some practice essay questions for you. Try writing introductions in the same fashion for them. Don't forget to share your work in the comment section. Hope you found this video helpful. We will keep on bringing such useful content to make IELTS easy for you. Thank you for watching.